What is up, YouTubers? My name is YB Hayden. I'm subbing in for SM and Silent Shot. Today, we'll be showing you how to make the best mage destruction armor in Skyrim. As you can tell, this is Daedric armor, which is relatively easy to make if you have all the pieces, which we will be showing you how to do in this video. Now, first thing first that you're going to need to make this is you are going to need to have your enchanting up to level 100, your smithing up to 100, and this is not necessary, but it is recommended, your heavy armor up to level 100. Now, the reason why you're going to need your ch uh, the, the reason you're going to need these up to level 100 is because you want to buy the perk extra effect, which allows you to put two enchantments on the same item, which is useful. Now, for the smithing, you're going to need up to 100 so that you can make Daedric armor. Again, this is another perk that you that you want to buy. Heavy armor, again, recommended, not necessary. You're going to want to buy the perk conditioning, which makes the heavy armor weigh absolutely nothing, which is useful during combat. Now, what you're going to need to make these are at least six or at least six Daedric hearts, at least twelve ebony ignog more if you want to make them legendary, twelve pieces of leather, and that's how you make the armor. Now, what we're also going to be using here are um, rings and um, a gold necklace. Now, you will now you will find these two throughout the game. There is no really place, I mean, you can buy them off vendors, but it's rare to find both of them at the same place. Now, another thing that you're going to need to do this is the Potion Enchanter's Filter. Now, you can find this of one of two places. One, at the Cauldron of Whiterun, or two, in the Archmage Quarters of the College of Winterhold. There are two here, and these are free. I would recommend that one. Now, you're also going to need Soul Gems. Now, you're also going to need Soul Gems. Grand Soul Gems or Black Soul Gems, either one. Now, what you're going to want to make with the Daedric Hearts, and that is these pieces. You're going to want to make the Daedric Gauntlets, the Daedric Boots, the Daedric Armor, and the Daedric Helmet. You don't need to make the Shield. You can if you want. Now, if, you, now if you're wondering where you find Daedric Hearts and Ebony Ignog, it is easy. To find the Ebony Eggnog, you go to the uh, southeast of Windhelm to the Gloomberg Mine in the Orc Camp. To get the Daedric Hearts, you have to complete the quest uh, putting together the pieces. And you must go to the Shrine of Merhurst Dagon, where there are four um, Daedrics, where you, or where there are four Daedrics. The other two hearts you will find throughout the storyline. Now, these are the enchantments that you're going to need to make this. You're going to need Fortify Destruction, Fortify Magicka, and Fortify Magicka Regeneration. Now, you don't want to use Fortify Destruction and Fortify or and Magicka Regeneration because it won't, it won't give you enough points to do this successfully. Now, something I forgot to mention, if, or after you make this armor, your destruction spells will cost nothing. As you can see here, my destruction, this is a master level destruction spell, costs absolutely nothing. All of them, nothing. But this only works for the destruction spells. Conjuring, Restoration, Illusion, and Alteration still cost Magicka. But you will be regenerating your Magicka fast enough that it won't really matter. Now, let's get started. First, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have the Enchanter's Elixir. You put that on, and then you start, or then you start using the Arcane Enchanter. Now, first what we're going to want to enchant is the Daedric Armor. And we're going to put the enchantment Fortify Destruction and Fortify Magicka Regeneration. You may be wondering why you don't have these. Well, the reason is because you have to find them throughout the game. There is no point where uh, you can buy them off of someone. You have to find them. Now, to use the Soul Gems, I'm going to use the Black Star, which is a special Soul Gem that you get throughout the story, er, uh, in a special sideline story. And we will be using that. Okay, now we will craft... And now, as you can see, it says destruction spells cost 27% less to cast. Magic regenerates 68% faster. Now, we will, now we're going to enchant the Daedric or the Daedric helmet. To put this, we're going to put down Fortify Destruction, Fortify Magicka, Soul Gem, Black Soul Gem, Enchant, Item. We're going to put down the silver sapphire necklace enchantment fortify destruction fortify magicka soul gem you're going to use a grand soul gem craft now item 
Silver Antherist Ring, Enchantment, Fortify Destruction, Fortify Magicka, and Soul Gem. We're going to have to use a Grand Soul Gem. Now, if you're wondering what do you do with the Gauntlets and the Boots, those are up to your decision. You cannot put down Fortify Destruction onto there, nor would you need it. You could put down Fost Resistance, stuff like that on those. Now, that's pretty much uh, all you need to do. Now, as you can see, wait, just let me unequip. Now, is, um, if you can see, it says, with the armor, it says, uh, Destruction Spells cost 27, 28, um, 25, 27. Uh, all of this will add up to 100%. Now, I will take off all of my armor to show you what this is really or what this is like without it. Okay, now I have a regular base destruction spell. See how my magic just goes down? Now what uh now I am going to put back on my armor and if you see it doesn't go down. It's still regenerating from the last time. But you see it doesn't go down. Now, if you want more Skyrim, MW3, or other any form of games, remember to uh, like, rate, and subscribe. Uh, see you next time.